Hi guys. Um, sorry I couldn't be there again this week. <laughs> Things are kind of crazy. Um, but I figured I'd do it this way. This way I would have my segment still in there and Peter can just edit it at the end. Um, once again, none of you sent me any emails. I'm going to kill you all. Um, but so instead I went on Craigslist again this week. Um, although it took me a couple of days so I didn't get many questions. Really I only have one to talk about. But that's fine. Something to talk about. Um, our, my one question this week comes from Slim Sticker on Craigslist. Um, he says, what the fuck? Uh, so I bought Dead Island thinking and being told by GameStop that it was split screen co-op. Well, it's not unless it's the new DLC that's still unavailable. I'm taking it back tomorrow and trading him for Gears of War 3. I looked at the back of the box and it says in green writing two to, uh, for the Xbox 360 um, that it's 2 to 4 co-op. So like my title says, what the fuck? Um, everything I've looked up on it says hasn't said much about a new DLC that's unavailable. I haven't been able to find anything. Um, but any anyone asking if it was a split screen co-op, any of the answers just say that it's an actual co-op. And I know when I first started doing information about the game, I thought it was a split screen co-op. That's the impression that I was under from the pictures. I, it's probably the same exact picture. I still haven't played Dead Island. <laughs> but... <laughs> Yeah, so that's the impression I was also under, um, especially if you were told that by GameStop. But, um, I mean, this new DLC, I, I haven't been able to find anything about it online, whether it's going to ever be available, when it's going to be available. Completely out of the loop there with that one. Um, but I also found a couple of people that had a split screen. Um, there was a YouTube video I came across where it was split screen, although it could have just been an edit to make it look like it was the same screen when it was really two separate screens for two, and two different game consoles. So I'm not really sure what the deal is on that one, but that's really disappointing because that was one thing I was looking forward to with it was that it was going to be a split screen co-op like all these old games. But what can we do? Um, I haven't played Dead Island yet, but everyone... I know that has played it really really enjoys it though so I mean if you really were just playing for the split screen co-op then yeah I mean it's another zombie game but um yeah <laughs> um so once again uh, I oh I did get one other question let me uh find this one this one comes from the uh, toxic offender 24 and it says how many licks does it take to get to this get to the Tootsie Roll center of a Tootsie Pop quite honestly I have no fucking clue and do you want to know why because I don't care. Um, no, I'm not a big Tootsie Roll fan. Um, oh, I did get an email. Oh no, come back. I got an email. Um, do I... This one comes from, oh, again, from our one of our viewers from last week. And the only one of the only people that sent me a question last week is from um, Shotokan at abv.bg. And it says, do you think a multi-genre game could work? For example, a real-time strategy where you control your units, but other people, like mercenaries, could join you and they would play a first-person shooter or a fighting driving simulator or something else within the same game with you. Um, so I stopped the video to actually think about it considering I just found this question. Um, but I don't know. I mean, it'd be a lot of, oh, well, I don't want to do that part. I don't want to play this part of the game. I want to play that part of the game. And, I mean, I guess if it was an online game and the computer just placed you wherever, like, um, like, how they just place you on teams, like, if that's how it would work, but I don't know, I don't know if being, I don't know if being, like, the person that, make, like, makes the whole strategy, or the person, like, I, I, I just don't think it would be as fun, I mean, maybe for some people, but I think as a whole, and for these people that play these games, and they, and they just want to play a first-person shooter, they're not ever going to want to play the other part, you know, and I mean, yeah, sure, then they can go play, any other game, first person shooter game, there's plenty of them out there, but I mean for it, the whole thing is it's new games, new games, new games, and I don't know if it would last very long. I think at first it would have a really great, um, it's a great idea, and it would be like a great thing to try, but I just don't know if it would have staying and lasting power. Um, yeah, so that's my opinion on it, but I mean, I'm sure other people have other opinions that are, like, you know, would totally disagree with me, and that's totally fine. Um, but yeah. So those are my three questions for the week, and thank you again, Shotokan, for sending me an email, like we ask in all of our videos, so why don't you guys get on that? Um, but other than that, that's it for my segment this week. Um, 
I will not be there next week, but I will try and do this again unless we change our filming day. So, um, yes, my show opens next weekend. So, if, well, PETA will have to deal with that. <laughs> Sorry, PETA. So, um, yeah, uh, I'm at work now. If you guys couldn't tell, I'm not anywhere I've filmed before. Um, I'm at work, and I have to go wake a kid up and go pick up another kid. So, see you guys later. Um, have a great week, and I hope you enjoy the jump this week. Bye. Yeah, bye. <laughs>